Good morning. My name is Brilford Wimley, and I want to talk to you all about diabetes. Nah, just kidding. Welcome to another So and Jay Stories. This is my character, Brilford Wimley, on the game Unturned. Uh, in the background here, I've got some Unturned gameplay of my misadventures on a PvE server fighting off a tank zombie while I was severely underprepared for it. But, well, you'll see how that goes. So the topic of today's So and Jay Stories is bilingualism, meaning speaking two languages, or, or rather multilingualism, I suppose, just speaking multiple languages. So, yeah. My native language, obviously, is English, but I did take Spanish in high school. So, you know when you're young and you, like, you took piano lessons or something like that, and now you're old and then you see people who play the piano and they're really good, and you're like, oh man, I wish I had continued. Well, I mean, like, I that was not me. I, I'm very glad that I stopped playing piano. But what I'm not glad about is that I wish I had continued in Spanish, because, well, I'll tell you about it here. So... In high school, I took advanced Spanish through 10th grade, and I was pretty good at it. Uh, but once I got the credit in language to graduate, I just, I dropped the language. You know, I, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't need it anymore to graduate. I already had my credits for it, so I took the Regents and any of the other New York State stuff that I had to do. And my philosophy back then, which was terrible, was why would I do it if I don't have to, you know? But don't, don't listen to that. That was, that was a terrible, terrible thought process. So I really wish that I had stuck with that. Um, and the reason I'm thinking of this is because of an experience I recently had in Unturned. Hey, the gameplay has merit. There's a reason I have Unturned in the background. Uh, so the other day on a PvE server, not the same one that I'm playing on now, a different one, uh, the, in the chat there were a lot of people speaking Spanish, like up in the, in the type chat. And I don't know where this server was, that had this many people speaking Spanish in chat, but I had pretty decent ping, so I, you know, this server has got to be hosted somewhere around northeast, I suppose, but I don't know where anybody would speak be speaking um, Spanish. I kind of expected people to be speaking French, because, you know, Canada, but anyways, so this guy comes up to me, and he, he starts following me around and stuff like that. It's a PvE server, so he's not going to kill me or anything like that, but he's, you know, he looks kind of like a noob. Um, he doesn't have much, but he types to me in chat, uh, he types hola, which obviously means hello, in Spanish, and now this is the point where obviously I could have just ignored him, or even used Google to look up what he had said, you know, uh, I mean, obviously I know what hola means, but if he, you know, he continued talking to me, I could use Google to look up and translate what he said and respond, and, but it got me thinking, in a real situation, if I were stranded somewhere, I'd still be able to communicate in Spanish... somewhat. So... We then, uh... decided to have a little conversation here. Uh, I typed to him in Spanish. I decided I didn't want to use Google or anything like that. I wanted to see what I remembered. Um, so... Anyways, I started off the conversation by saying, Hola! Este es mi casa, a.k.a. this is my house, because I showed him what I'd built of my base so far. Uh, and then I asked him, ¿Necesita comida o agua? And that means, do you need food or water? Because those are one of the two, or those are two of the five bars on the bottom there that you have to keep track of uh, if you need food or water. Because this, this is a survival game. So he then replied, no, and then he said, Pero necesito algo para mi barra verde, which I had like, I I didn't understand all of it, um, but what he said, barra verde, which I was thinking might mean the green bar, so that's the the toxicity bar. So I gave him some vaccine, and uh, and I got a gracias out of it, and uh, then I noticed he had no weapons or anything, so. I figured I could at least spare my melee weapon and uh, give that to him. I did drop him my uh, Swiss Army knife, and I typed in the chat, uh, Toma el cuchillo, which means, like, take this knife or whatever. Knife is, uh, I don't know if there's a specific different word for it. That That's like the word for, like, dinner knife, I guess. But, um, you know, cuchara spoon, and then cuchillo's knife, and I cannot remember fork. But I didn't need to remember Fork. 
So I didn't really want to babysit this guy because I really, I myself, even though I had a bit of a base, I wasn't really even settled things with things like getting food and ammo for myself, so I didn't really want to have to look out for someone else. So I decided it was time to tell him to get lost. Politely, of course. So I typed in, Usted necesita salir, por favor, which means you need to leave, please. And I was really happy that I remembered that salir means to leave and venir means to come from Spanish class, coming and leaving. Uh, and again, I could have looked all this up on Google, but I really enjoy role-playing pretty hardcore in, like, survival games and games like Skyrim. So, he got the hint that I didn't really want him there anymore, and, uh, he said, adios, went away, and so that was that. I continued on the server until it reset and went to PvP, which I hate. I just, I don't like PvP in this game. Maybe it's just me, but I enjoy working together a whole lot better and surviving against the zombies and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, and needless to say, I don't play on that server anymore, but it was it was a nice experience. Uh, I do want to give out a little shout-out to my middle and high school Spanish teacher. And, uh, you know, the first thing that everybody knows in Spanish is hola, but you don't really learn that from your teacher. You just kind of, like, pick that up from Dora the Explorer or what have you. But the first thing my teacher taught me uh, on day one was the first thing that his teacher taught him. And uh, it's the sentence, Oi es martes. And you have to say it like that, too. Uh, that obviously just means today is Tuesday, because that's the day that we had Spanish class, or my class had Spanish class uh, back in seventh grade or whatever. Oi es martes. I never forget that. And the other great thing I remember about him was... Um, the verb conjugation speech. He would, he would make us repeat this. I am a verb conjugator. I fear no verbs. Verbs tremble at the sound of my voice because they know they're about to be conjugated. And uh, for those of you who don't know what conjugation is, uh, we don't really do it in English. But uh, I looked it up like for an official definition, and I kind of verified it or er, made made a variation of it. I, sh I should say. Uh, so you'd understand. Uh, it's essentially the variation of the form of a verb in an inflected language, such as Latin or Spanish, by which one form of the verb is identified, the tense, and the people in the sentence is... Uh, it, it's really it's hard for me to, to say all this. It essentially means that you have to identify who you're talking to. Um, so I can say to you, individually please leave and i can say to you collectively please leave and it's the same no, no wait no no don't don't actually leave the video it's not done yet okay Whew, okay dodge the bullet there anyways no i can say to you collectively please leave and you individually please leave and there's no differences between what i just said um but in spanish you actually have to identify who you are saying it to as in you please leave or y'all please leave uh, no, I'm not Southern, but y'all is the correct contraction for you all. I learned that down in Tennessee earlier this year, but that's another story. So this whole experience just got me wanting to say, continue learning foreign languages because you never know when the zombie apocalypse is going to hit. So I hope you've enjoyed, and if you did, please tell your friends about it so that they can enjoy too. Until next time, I've been So and Jay. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. So long. Mm. Mm.